But I think the answer might be yes. Regime change, liberate country. But I don't think having two treaty ports in one country does anything. Conquer state, open market. And it's open up to the Tibetan market. War reparations, which we're already getting. Regime change in Tibet. I mean, most most of that stuff I don't think we really care about. It's also just going to give us more and more infamy. We can liberate Shaodong. I, I literally think is like here. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think we need to worry about any of that, honestly. Okay, we're at negative nine. 9% disadvantage, 10% disadvantage. Japanese, French, and German troops are all in the area. We're actually, we now have the advantage. And I believe war, yeah, war is definitely going to break out, so. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Which actually kind of sucks. We're now getting 214 on tariffs, poll income taxes, minting. It means I think they just give up their main new command order. They back down. They give us our primary war goal, which was the treaty port. So, I mean, I'm still happy to have that. I kind of wish we could have uh, gotten our war economy up. Poll tax consumption tariffs. But now that we have... Anybody we can join? Spain wants to join our custom union? Negative 41. You know what, Spain? Me and you? They don't, okay, they don't like us enough for me to do that. But if I were to... What's your GDP? Number four worldwide. I want to trade more with the Qing now. Because we should get some good, uh, some good trades here. Get glass. And we get it from, we can get more from Russia. Okay, we'll trade with, we'll trade with Russia here, at least for right now. Yeah, wood, it will import that from Russia as well. Just because, again, Russia, it's very big. I'm surprised it has a lot of wood in, the, in it as well. Low market access, input good shortage from silk. I mean, the Qing's got to have that, right? We probably also need to start stationing troops in uh, Tianjin now. Which I believe means that we need to build ourselves a barracks in the country. Again, make sure all of our units are as good as they possibly can be. And let's build ourselves. I'm going to build a massive barracks in uh, Taijin. Just because, just in case, if, if the Qing ever feel like they need to, um, you know, one number two, I think it's Britain and France. Uh, is it map list? Yes, prestige. Britain has about a thousand more prestige than we do, and France has about 1,500 more. France is always, like, number one in Victoria 3. I'm not even too sure why. But they're always kicking everybody else's ass. Oh, City of Plenty, the problem numbers of has high society... I want um, more loyalists. Yes. Yeah, France is always very powerful. I'm not even too sure like why. They just kind of always are. Okay, so buildings, construction. All of these will be done in one week. We'll have a army ready to deploy. Again, just in case. I mean, we're literally like one, like one meter away from. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too sure why Wurttemberg is not in Germany. When we formed Germany, they just decided not to join for whatever reason. And I don't even... Like, we don't even have, like, a core or a... A claim to the province. So I'm not even too sure if we can actually invade them. Which, you're right, is very rude. Oh, so we can go back with the speed 5 now. But again, just think... What do they not have? Oh, they don't have a port. You know what? That makes perfect sense. Uh, let's at least have a port here. Because it's actually not connected to the rest of our market. Be done in 14 weeks. In the Great Qing. 
I'm gonna have what four treaty ports now with me, Russia, Britain, and the Portuguese. Unrecognized major power. They have a lot of units, but they also just kind of suck. You know, no no offense to them, but is Victoria 3 generally improvement? There's definitely things that need to be fixed. I, w I would say overall, I I, I like I think I kind of like Victoria 3 more than Victoria 2. Okay, Manchu migration. Raising concerns, the Junkers and the Industrialist. Industrious negative two. What what are they at? Industrials are at sixteen. And the Junkers are at two. So you know what? We'll give the Junkers a little bit more. Yeah, they're also like not transfer subject, open market, conquer state. We'll gain ten infamy. The Dan the Denmark like the Danish do have too many uh loyal German subjects in their country right now. Is are Britain and Russia still fighting? No. Right now Russia's only fighting the United States, so. Like if we wanted to take this, right? We're gonna start a hostage belly against you. What, who are people feeling right now? Sweden and Venezuela, of all people, want to back the Danish. Nobody wants to support our side, but we don't... Fuck it, we don't need them. Wait, the Revolutionary East India Company. Yeah, no, they're still at war with the British Raj. So I guess... I don't even know what they're going to do. I guess they're going to have, like, ANCAP... Uh, India. I, I'm not even too sure what's going on. You're 90... You're 92 years old? Okay, we're going to send you over to here now. Can I add any more war goals? I can. Conquer state. I want to take. Well, I think is I can only target you directly. Apparently, like Schleswig is actually not in this like war for whatever reason. Even though they're a puppet, they actually don't get called in right away. They're a puppet, right? Yeah, they're a personal union. So you would think that uh. You think that they would join the war immediately? They're not even in the list to actually join the war. Add a war goal, transfer subject. We can transfer to Schleswig. So we can annex Holstein and transfer you. Open market war operations, make puppet, make the minion. Yeah, let's, let's even take these two things from you. Okay, the Progress Party has won the election. Free Conservatives were in second place. I'm pretty sure that's the party that is currently in charge right now. I don't even think we really need to change anything on this. Yeah, I mean, nah, the party's fine. We don't need to change anything. Is there anything we can change, though, in our laws? I mean, people want universal suffrage. The industrialist negative 20 on them. I mean, they, they kind of hate everything. Go to go up to census, uh, census suffrage. Freedom of ch choice, total separation. Who hates this? Probably the Catholic Church. The Church hates it. They're marginalized, those who cares what they have to say. Also, the people who's resident won't like it, and the rural folk won't like it. We could go mass conscription. Training rate can mobilize 653 battalions. Who hates this? The armed forces don't like it, the rural folk don't like it, and the Junkers don't like it. So, I mean, really, I don't see any reason to change this then. And who hates this? Basically everybody. I mean, kind of everybody hates everything. Nobody in in Germany is happy with anything. It's how I is how I see this. Again, we don't care about any of the people joining our side. Britain, I see that you actually have troops mobilized. Are you at war with somebody? You are. Oh yeah, you're at war with the East India Company. 
So yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about this. Is there anything else you want from Denmark? We could just like go all out here. I mean, they're fearful, so there's a chance that they just don't. They're of loyalist sides of Danish loans. The Aus Austria, you piece of shit. Two hundred eighty-nine divisions. These two hundred eighty-nine from garrisons only partaking in defense. That is okay. I mean, I'm not surprised that that, uh, that Austria is not bored of us, of us here. But they're also jerks. Open regime humiliation. You can humiliate the Austrians for even attempting to join this war. Make puppet, take treaty port. Does anybody want anything? No, they do not. Transfer subject. Triplotania. Wait, who wants Triplotania? It's an Austrian protectorate. Huh. I, I, did, I did not know that. Is there anything else we can do against Austria? I mean, they're still fearful. Liberate Italy. Grant independence to the Italians. I mean, that seems like that would be beneficial, right? There we go. So we'll, we'll take on these three uh, war goals. The Swedish have decided that they hate us. I mean, Sweden's been opposed to Berlin foreign policy this entire goddamn time. Also, we've been embargoed by... No, Russia. Okay, that's the Russian embargoing China. Who gives a shit? That, that doesn't affect me at all. They got decent troops here. 61, 32. Can I actually... Do I have any more units we can deploy? We have 11 battalions in reserve. Where are they? For one, let's get a handful of uh, deployed troops. I'm going to mobilize you, and we're going to send you to have an offensive. Just against Austria in the north. Again, France. Fr France should be France. They should be okay. I'm hoping, at least. Glass is still expensive. A couple of unproductive trade routes. Also, some un uh, the trade routes that are doing literally nothing. Germany is offering obligation. The obligation owed to us by Germany will expire in 308 days. Well, I, mean, I don't think we're going to be uh, making any use of that. For what I would say are fairly obvious reasons. Get 37 on you. Poor. 81. Well, they're mobilizing more units than we are. France is mobilizing some units, but really they're not mobilizing that many. Why is bureaucracy so low? Fade routes, home affairs. I mean, we got a big population. What we need is we need more government administration. And that's something that I know that we do need. However, if we build government administration, we will not be getting our investment pool transfer. And I can't afford not to have that money be coming in while we're... Um... You make paper really cheap, it boosts bureaucracy. Well, how much? How much does paper cost? Paper right now, it's two percent cheaper than it normally is in the world market, which means that we probably won't really be able to trade with anybody that'll make it even cheaper. Yeah, it's like we can save like point two pounds. So I guess we'd have to probably make more of it ourselves. And I don't really think we're going to be doing that uh, right now. Austria's mobilized a lot of units. They, they really don't like me. Which, I mean, it's understandable. 62 against 44. We should be able to kill the Danish pretty quickly. Though so it is a French-German war against the Swedish, the Danish, and the Austrians. Apparently against Schleswig is not... We're not actually at war with you. For some reason, I don't know why. Right now, we have 21. 61 on the offense. I mean, their, their offense and defense are actually like, not very, very good. Okay, first battle is over here. 24 against 30. What units do they have? 49 from army defense. 
Regular troops, regular troops. Checkline infantry, 35-49. I mean, our units are just better than Austria's. And right now, we are... Well, the French commander's got himself lost in Krakow. Good work there. You've got Charlotte Terrain with a 15% kill rate. So you're going to kill a lot of people. Actually, no, you're just... Austria sucks. They're not doing very well. How are we doing on our front? Uh, we have blundered. Congrat... General Wilhelm, I mean, you're 93 years old. I, I shouldn't expect you to do too much better. Uh, I maybe I was expecting too much from you. I'm going to promote you. Then I'm going to mobilize you. I'm going to send you to the front lines. I mean, Austria has still got so much turmoil. Like, people in Austria aren't happy with the Austrian government. We're now losing 85,000 pounds again. Investment transfer, investment goods. Well, is it because we're now building... No, we're still building a lot of munition plants. I'm not too sure why it's so expensive. Okay, yeah, the Austrians just got their ass comp- Even though the French commander didn't know where the fuck he was, he still managed to beat out the, uh, the Austrians. Good work, Austria. Big, uh, big thumbs up to you over there. I don't even know how you managed to accomplish that. I'm really... I, I honestly just feel a little embarrassed for you. Um, sorry, just one second here. As I was saying, I feel embarrassed for Austria. We got 5% prestige or 20 legitimacy. Give me the prestige, because again, we're not really passing any bills right now. There's no bills I actually really want to get passed. I mean, I wouldn't mind like a more voting rights, but most people in the country hate it. Regulatory bot, what are you? We got serfdom, serfdom abolished, regulatory bodies. The trade unions want this, the industrialist and the Junkers both hate it. And we're going to lose the industrialist bonus. What are, what are they giving me a bonus on right now? 20% capital investment pool contribution. Okay, I kind of I kind of need that money right now. So sorry, workers of the world. Or of Germany, I guess, in particular, we're not going to give you any rights. Okay, that is a lot of Austrian. 36 minutes, 84 down the south. I will say, we're kind of losing all of our battles. I mean, again, France won, won one of them. I mean, the numbers are still bad. Like, Austria is still losing significantly more troops than we are. But, I mean, our, our morale is now uh, tickle, uh, trickling down a little bit, so. Flotilla's in reserve. Uh, recruit Admiral. This is going to be North German HQ. Let us recruit this Admiral. Congratulations. Unproductive trade routes with France. Unproductive trade routes apparently with the Qing for the opium. But, like, don't we need opium? Oh, so, yeah, we're not, obviously not trading with you anymore. Well, like, what's the most expensive thing we're actually paying for? 52,000 pounds on ammunition, 35,000 for our opium. So I guess ammunition is actually the most expensive thing. Munition plants. I mean, we're trying to build them, man. Like, they're being built right now. Just give it time, okay? Just give it time and we'll be, we'll be okay. Warsport at 92, 88 on you. France is at 95. Horstein apparently is not even an active participant in this war, which I guess isn't technically false. If Austria capitulates, I'm pretty sure that means we'll liberate Italy off of them, which I would be happy to see. Because right now, Italy is in the... Well, how are they a puppet? Is it because they're in the Italian market? Defensive pack under the custom union. 